Hi, my name is Scott Seaton, and I am the music director of the North State Symphony, and with me is Brian Simpson, our principal timpanist. And we are here today because we are creating a new series called Musician Accents, where uh, periodically we will feature various musicians in the orchestra uh, prior to concert weeks. And uh, just to give you a sense of who it is that is actually on stage giving you the, the wonderful music that you hear every time you attend the North State Symphony. And so we're going to ask Brian a few questions and try to get a, a better idea of who Brian Simpson is. <laughs> so Brian, um, if you could just start with the basics, tell us maybe a little bit about your background and how you chose these very okay. large, awkward, bizarre instruments. <laughs> uh, well, uh, very good question. Uh, so uh, essentially, uh, I started off like many youngsters, um, uh, I played the drums and, and unlike you know most normal parents who would say no you're not going to play drums and we're not having that in the house because uh, my mother was a musician singer piano player my brother played guitar my sister has a love of music my father yeah. although not a musician uh, also fostered love and music and so when I saw the Beatles I thought well this is this is this sounds like really fun and so I just started hitting things and so my parents <laughs> My parents bought me a snare drum when I was six, and then when I was nine... They regretted I, it. I, I, oh, from, from the get-go. Uh, at any rate, so when I was nine, uh, they rented a drum set, and so I, I had drum set lessons, and they, they were, I was really lucky I, to have good instruments and, and, uh, and lessons. And when I was 13, that was kind of the catalyst point. Mm -hmm. um, the drum set teacher at the music shop where I was learning in, in Sacramento, he had gone on to a different job, and the new person that came in was a 19-year-old percussion major at Cal State Sacramento. And he was the one who really turned me on to timpani and marimba and vibraphone and xylophone and all the musical possibilities in orchestral percussion. Right. Because theretofore, I was just a drum set player and I'd never seen these things. And, and of course, when you're that age, sort of middle school, junior high, and you see these these sparkly, wonderful, loud things, right. it's, it's the thing that you want to do. And I just snowballed from there, college, postgraduate, and there we are. In a nutshell. In a nutshell, <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and with these incredible instruments, what is some of your favorite repertoire to play that highlights the well, timpani especially? Um, I mean, there's, of course, it's, it, you know, the 20th century repertoire is, is, is rampant with some great, wonderful things. Uh, the piece we're playing this week, uh, Michael Torkey, Stravinsky, all kinds of uh, wonderful pieces. But I do have to say that I, uh, my favorite uh, genre, my favorite composer is Brahms. Okay. I really, really love Brahms. I, I've played two of four symphonies. I would love to play the Requiem, um, but uh, yeah, I'd have to say Brahms is my favorite because you're, you're, you're helping tell a story and there's just some great, great parts. When your support, your accent, you're standing out, you're, you're playing all the, all, the, all the spots. See, I thought you were going to say Strauss also sprock Zorthus. Oh, no. <laughs> No, we'll that, movie, that. <laughs> that movie scared me as a kid. You know, those apes in the wall? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's good to know. Um, and then finally, we have one more question. Uh, what about, because uh, you've been in the symphony a while. This is my 16th year with the orchestra. I started off in percussion section, then went to principal percussion, and then uh, moved on over here when the previous person left, and I have not regretted a single instant. <laughs> I love doing this. Really so, so in your 16 years in the North State Symphony, do you have a, a favorite or a most memorable musical experience? Well, so I was mentioning earlier, two actually. <laughs> uh, uh, about my fourth year behind the, behind the bowls here, uh, we were doing uh, Beethoven 9 at the Cascade, stage full of singers, full orchestra. And at the Cascade, because it was May, it was very, very warm indeed. And so they kept the, the doors up in the, uh, the upstairs open for ventilation. Right. And as the lights had come down, they were about to shut the doors, and two birds came in. And so they had to turn off the lights completely. They finally went on the way. And then, then lastly, absolutely has to be uh, under your baton was the scream. <laughs> the scream was, was, I mean, where else are we going to get, you know, three million hits on Classic FM, but there. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was absolutely wonderful. Yeah, Firebird Scream will definitely uh, be around for a while. I think, I think so. <laughs> I think so. Immortal. Right, right. Well, Brian, uh, you've been fantastic. Oh, and, thank uh, you very much. It's, it's, I'm sure it's always nice for uh, more people to little to know, you know, a bit more about who's the guy with the white hair in the very. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't always white, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks for taking a couple of moments to chat. The pleasure and... was mine. <laughs> the pleasure was mine. And uh, we hope to see you all at the symphony this weekend.